Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hello, my name is Shinka Mehmani and I am a technical consultant at Miracles Software Systems. In this video, I will be talking on the use of Alexa in a business setup and communicate with Salesforce. For those uh, probably a small minority who haven't used one before, Amazon Echo is one of those voice controlled hands free smart speakers, and Alexa is the intelligent personal assistant which responds to the user's voice commands. In the coming slides, I will go through the conversations with Alexa and in turn perform crowd operations on Salesforce. To achieve that, we have to create an Alexa skill, which will have our intents listed and uh, based on some examples given uh, on there. This skill will be able to invoke and understand the user commands. And for integrating this with Salesforce, uh, of a few other ways possible, I have chosen to write a function and deploy on AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda is a, another Amazon um, service which is provided uh, on demand. I simply have to deploy my function onto the AWS Lambda and then get the ARM number, which is a unique ID, and then link it onto the MX Alexa skill, uh, which is called Salesforce skill on my Alexa. And this is written in Node.js uh, and extended from a couple of examples online. Uh, and basically utilizing an existing package called Enforce. Assuming a public setup where a business user, say a salesperson, wants to create a lead from the call she just got off, this flow shows how to invoke and ask to create a new lead. First, the user will invoke the right Alexa skill by saying Alexa and to ask Salesforce. That will trigger the echo device, which is always in a listening mode, and respond to the user. For lead creation, it will ask for first and last name and the name of the company. Once the lead is created, the user will be updated without needing to log on to Salesforce or even open a web browser. In this slide, again, the user wants to know about the status of a particular opportunity in Salesforce. Alexa will respond with the stage and other details as we have coded. We can add a few more details if you want. And in this slide, I will show you, like, I will describe how to post on Chatter. And Chatter is an enterprise collaboration platform on Salesforce. And the user can ask Alexa to make announcements or notifications, which will be visible to all colleagues or members of a group. Now, in this slide, I will address the compliance and security issues in using Alexa in a public setup to make business good collaborations. In an office setup, Alexa will be available for all users who can speak. Given the technological limitation on voice identification, any user can come and ask Alexa to update data on Salesforce, which will make the compliance team to run to my desk faster than Bolt and make me read compliance stuff even like you know for half a day or even more than that. To avoid that scary thought, I have enabled a time-based one-time password on my Salesforce user, which is now better in my Salesforce Lambda function. And basically the user will have to give the six-digit TOTP time-based one-time password to the Alexa skill for before making any operations on Salesforce. And that's in the demo I will showcase uh, how this works in detail. Now, let's see the demo. In this demo, I will be using Amazon Echo Dot and perform Salesforce operation using the Salesforce Alexa skill. I will be going to the same conversations which I have gone through in the previous slides. And let's do it. Alexa. Ask Salesforce. Welcome, Shanker. How can I help you today? Create a lead. Okay, let's create a new lead. 
What is the person's first and last name? Shankar Neimani. Got it. The name is Shankar Neimani. What is the company name? My Fortune Company. Bingo. I created a new lead for Shankar Neimani with the company name My Fortune Company. Thank you. Okay, so now we are on to Salesforce and let's see if Alexa has indeed created a new lead in Salesforce. I'm clicking Leads tab and then going to check for today's leads. Bingo, there is one lead with name Shankar Neimani and it has got all the details as we have given in the chat with Alexa. Okay, now I will be asking Alexa to get me details from Salesforce, which is a read operation. And uh, I will be asking you to get me a status details on an existing opportunity. For example, uh, let's take Jackson Controls. And Alexa, Alexa will be giving me details on this opportunity, such as the total amount and its existing stage and the probability. We can also include any details we really need. And for now, let's go ahead and ask Alexa. Alexa, ask Salesforce to get me details of opportunity Jackson Controls. I found opportunity Jackson Controls for $200,000. The stage is prospecting and the probability is 10%. Is there anything else I can help with, please? No. In this clip, I will be using the Salesforce skill to post on my Salesforce chatter. Alexa, ask Salesforce to post on chatter. What would you like to post on your chatter? Commenting from Alexa skill. You are now on chatter. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and check if the chat post is indeed posted on Salesforce. So here I'm on the chatter tab and it should refresh and get me the latest comment. Yes, there you go. I can see my comment from Alexa saying commenting from Alexa skill and it's posted via Alexa app. Okay. So far, we have seen how Alexa works and posts data onto Salesforce or even reads data from Salesforce, creates a chat post and other stuff we can do many more. However, in this clip, I want to talk on security and compliance. Assume we have this Alexa available in a public setup, such as an office. That would be a major security issue because anyone who has access to Alexa can perform CRUD operations in Salesforce. In order to stop that, in order to apply some compliance, put some compliance into place, I have enabled two-way authentication in Salesforce. So I have this Google Authenticator based authentication along with the password. The password is already embedded into the account linking stage and this Google Authenticator will make sure the right user is accessing the Alexa skill. Without further ado, I just want to give it a try and showcase how it works. In the screen in front, you can see the passcode on the Google Authenticator which will be taken by Alexa and then posted back to Salesforce to authenticate the user. This Google Authenticator is linked to Salesforce. Okay, let's try it now. Alexa, ask Salesforce. Let's begin with Salesforce. May I have your Google Authenticator code for your Salesforce, please? 545724. Welcome, Shanker. What would you like to do next? Okay, so we have seen how we can make sure the right user is accessing the Salesforce skill by enabling TOTP uh, based on Google Authenticator. It is very simple and straightforward and we can make sure 
it is secure enough in a public setup. However, just for trying a negative scenario, in, in this video I will try and see what happens if I give a wrong password. Alexa, ask Salesforce. Let's begin with Salesforce. May I have your Google Authenticator code for your Salesforce, please? One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, unable to authenticate. Would you like to try again, please? No, thanks. With that, we conclude our demo. There's more uh, coming up in this area with uh, an announcement from Amazon on Alexa for business. We'll keep adding more to this. Keep watching us. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.